How's it going guys? Welcome back to episode 2 of the very first Call of Duty. So, actually, um, I was playing this on the Xbox 360, but I didn't have the full version. So I decided to get it on my PC. But the problem is with my PC is very, very loud. So, um, for the rest of the Call of Duty gameplay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the gameplay over and I'm going to have a voiceover throughout the whole commentary. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What was funny was that um, on the Xbox 360 version, I got into I got into this mission, but for some reason I had no checkpoints. Like I literally got no checkpoints. So I got to like the very end and I died a couple of times and then I rage quit it. And I was like, maybe if I actually got by the game, I might get checkpoints or something. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, I got like hella mad because like. In this in this game, on the horse sequel two, you get two shotted, and there's like no health packs, I think. So I was running around trying to figure out where to where I can find health packs, but I can't. But even in this um in this video, you're gonna see me die a lot. Like set like I don't even know how the fuck I die half the time. Like the the reason why I'm playing this is because I want to like. Because usually YouTubers when they when they get into games, they just go straight up to like the best version, right? But like, for some reason, like I had an idea that I want to play one series and just start from the beginning and then finish it. So like, for example, I'm doing this, right? So I'm um, I'm pretty sure after this, it's Call of Duty Finest Hour, and that game that game is pretty fun. I <laughs> I played it on the original Xbox. That thing was badass. But like, the idea came for me because I was playing Halo, and I was like. Should I jump to straight to Halo 5? And I was like, no, maybe I should just go up from the release date. So, like, the goal is to go Halo 1, 2, 3, um, what is it? ODST, Halo Wars, and then Breach, Halo 4, Halo 5. No, and then maybe do Spartan Ops, maybe. I mean, um, Spartan Strike. I think Spartan Strike, I don't remember. But my goal is to go through all the games instead of just starting off right from the beginning. I mean, right in the best game. So that was kind of the idea. So, like, for this one, I know Call of Duty is a freaking huge ass franchise. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do my best. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to play, like, the best games. I know freaking Call of Duty has, like, has, like, games on the, on the phone, but I don't think I'm gonna record that stuff. Maybe. And, like, playing games, I've been playing games ever since I was a little kid. And it's, like, means a lot to me like I, I don't know how I can say it but like it just like when I play these games it just feels so good because I used to actually I played the very first Call of Duty on the PC when I was little and I play this game all the time like all the time on like a <laughs> on like a super old PC I don't even like I don't know but my my um, my my uncle actually came over no no, I think... Oh, fuck. It's not my uncle. It's my cousin. My cousin, like, came over. He's from France. He came over, and he lived with us a little bit because he was going to college here. And at this time, I was, like, six, seven. And he um, got on our laptop and installed a shit ton of games. I don't know if it was legal, but fucking he installed a shit ton of games. And it was, like, some weird thing. Like, you click an app, and, it, like, this thing came up, and it had, like, 60 games on there. And that thing was badass because they had Call of Duty Classic, they had like Metroid, everything. Super Mario, everything. It was hella weird. But like they had this game, the Call of Duty Classic. And I always ask him how to set it up because I didn't know how to set it up. So he, I'll always play this. And it was crazy. I remember, um, I remember in this game, there was like, I think there's a ship part where like you get captured on a ship and then you and this... You and this captain, like, you guys are our best friends throughout the whole campaign or something. And then, like, you guys, like, you guys jack machine gun and then the dude sacrificed his life to save you or something. Yeah, dude. I remember that stuff was hella fun. And, like, this game is all blur. Because, like, right now when I'm playing it, like, I don't remember any of these parts. Um, but... Yeah, it just makes me like super happy when I play this stuff. Like when I get into finest hour, that's gonna be badass as fuck. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get Call of Duty 2 because I broke the disc, but 
Yeah. Actually, I don't even know how I'm gonna get half my games because. <laughs> Yeah, now I think about it, once I finish like this series, how the, how am I going to get to Call of Duty Final Fantasy? No, I think I still have the disc. I still have the disc and I hope it still plays on the Xbox 360. That's the goal. But if not, then I'm probably going to purchase it on PC again. <laughs> so, I'll be like looking, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to finishing this game too. I know that like I just started YouTube and I'm, I have like <laughs> I feel like no one's gonna watch any of my videos, but like um, the reason the reason why I want to start YouTube is um, just so I can have my gameplay out there because I want to capture memories and stuff and like and like I want to see myself finish every single like game in the series like legit like after I beat Call of Duty Halo I like I think I might go to I don't know, Fable or something. I like. Hopefully by then I can have some type of like viewers that can actually help me and then like tell me what games I should play. But like for sure, um, I'll be wanting to finish this game, like Call of Duty. I want to f finish this game as best as I can, and um, and yeah, because like the I haven't uploaded Halo because I actually re I recorded. Um, the next mission right but my computer crashed and I lost my recordings <laughs> and I kind of didn't want to go through that mission again because I got really mad but yeah but so far this game uh, the first mission is really easy but this second mission it was freaking jackass terrible so I'm pretty I'm scared going into other missions because um like early, you saw me just jump over the fence for like one second and I died. Like, what is that? And there's no health, uh, health, uh, what's it called? Health pots, health stations, health packs. And there's a, um, there's like the checkpoints are in really bad spots. Like, uh, later in this video, you're going to see like, I have to blow up some tanks and stuff. And it's pretty weird because it literally the old, the other, like the newest Call of Duty, like if they give you that mission, they give you a checkpoint every time you blow something up. But this one, like if I die on like the last one, I go all the way back. I'm not gonna spoil it to you, but I had a really stupid death while I was trying to look for bad guys because that death was so embarrassing. And the worst part was I actually beat all the bad guys already, and I fucking died, and I had to go back and from the start. So I was. Pretty I was pretty pissed about that. No, I don't think I was pissed. I was laughing my ass off because I was so retarded. But yeah, that's what <laughs> that's a spoiler that happens later in the video. But I, I want to see you guys figure out what part that is. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, for sure, the one game I really want to get into is the, uh, the Fallout series. Like I started Fallout 3 and I bet a lot of people started Fallout 3, but I started Fallout 3 New Vegas and I beat Fallout 4, um, but the problem is I never like tried Fallout 1 and 2 and I'm, I heard they're pretty good games so I'm going to try to get into those and then actually get to like Fallout 4. So like usually when I play um, Fallout I make a stupid character, like legit when I was little I made Fallout 3 characters where all they did was I just max melee, I mean not melee, um, I max um, Unarmed because that was so broken like in um, bats or no when you have no weapon like legit no weapon You have like an ability where you can paralyze people It was called paralyzing palm and you get that like 80 80 unarmed and what happens is when you just punch somebody in bats They just like become paralyzed and they go they just ragdoll on the floor and it's pretty OP because like Legit, all I did was hit level, I don't, I don't know, I hit like 6, and I maxed out, um, unarmed, well not maxed out, I just got it with like really high to the cap, and then I just punched everybody, and legit, that was all I did, so like, like a behemoth will come, a behemoth is like a, there are people who don't play Fallout, behemoths are like, giant, um, they're like green humans, right, but they're fucking huge, so legit, I just punched him like five times, and um, he just stays on the floor. Like, like they don't even they don't even move no more. And you do like hella damage too. It's freaking crazy. 
But yeah, maybe when I go in Fallout, maybe I'll max that. Maybe when I play um, Fallout 3, I'll max that. But New Vegas and other ones, I'm gonna probably uh, do something else. But make, I'm gonna make sure I don't make the same character and have like the same build and everything for every single game. So I'm gonna try to mix everything up. But for sure, um, when I'm playing Call of Duty, well, any friend, any any game I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play on the hardest difficulty. Even even if it's like a game I never even played in my whole entire life, I'm gonna play on the hardest difficulty just so I could like beat it and stuff. So like, let's say you guys recommend me a um, game, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, I'm still gonna play on the hardest difficulty. I'm gonna play on the hardest difficulty. You're gonna see me die a shit ton. You guys are gonna call me noob and everything, but. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, the idea is just to play that. Just to do the best and try to beat a whole franchise on the hardest difficulty. So that thing sounds super fun and yeah, I can't can't wait until I get into other series and I actually beat a series because I feel like I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm just grabbing more games and putting it out there. Like, um, like, uh, to, to, uh, today's, um, well, well, not today. Uh, well, I downloaded uh, Rise because it was free on the Xbox One. So I downloaded it and I want to play it. I wanted to play it and stream it. Not, not stream it. I want to record it and put it up as a one episode. But I feel like I'm just going to do like one episode at a time. Because, you know, my sleeping dogs, I have like seven episodes. And legit, I'm pretty sure I only have like 5% campaign, um, campaign completion or something. Uh, yeah, I think Sleeping Dogs the only game, right? Don't tell me that's like a... <laughs> there's, there's more to the game than I just like skipped. I thought, I'm pretty sure it's just one game. But, yeah, the goal is to just try to complete every single freaking series on the hardest difficulty. And, um, it once, like, if I keep, if I get popular, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think I am, but the goal is to, um, when I have some type of viewer, like, legit, if I have, like, 100 subscribers, I'll be fucking uploading. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the, the goal is just to upload as much as I can and to finish series off. And maybe I'll grab attention, but I doubt it. Um, but, yeah, that's the plan. And, like, once I get some type of viewer that recommend me games to play, I'll play it for them. Just so they could be happy. Um, and I want to experience all the other games because I feel like I feel like all the games that are coming out are always the same like like it's like aliens in space horror game right like there's a shit ton of those coming out and there's like the Call of Duty franchise is the same it's like they kind of it's kind of like okay so Black Ops 3 people are upset because the robots right and like I didn't complete the campaign because I was kind of done because in the first mission okay spoilers for the first mission legit right after you save a couple guys you get fuck you draw you fall down and robots rip you limb by limb like legit your arm like you have no hands they rip that shit off the robots and it was fucking crazy and I was like how the fuck am is my character gonna fucking survive this shit and I did I did survive I became a robot soldier and after that I was like okay I'm am d- done because I didn't think the campaign was gonna be good, but yeah, but I guess the first game that implemented that was um, Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two they implemented like like super a lot of technology and stuff, and that was cool because it was still like legit. And but because of that, I didn't want to play the campaign because like I got into the main menu and then he puts on his sunglasses, and I was like, oh okay, <laughs> that's cool, but. But is, is that, it's kind of not like real life. Because, you know, at that time we were all into the, we were all into like legit, like this game, what is it, uh, World War Two? Yeah, World War Two, right? So like it's, it's like legit, like it's like real life. Like you actually like can relate to these people, well not relate, but it's like real. But like, to think about it, imagine this game, and then now look at the games, like Infinite Warfare. It's fucking like, you, like, is that even real? <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Is that even real? And even when I'm playing zombies in Infinite Warfare, it doesn't feel legit because half the guns shoot lasers. Like, what is that? But I, I don't know. It just feels like 
I, maybe in the next Call of Duty, they might find a Halo ring, and that's it. Like, imagine, like, both games, like, connect. Like, the next the next one, you find a Halo ring, right? And you just have a regular ring, and you're against aliens. That's, that's what's going to happen next, right? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking. Wait, no, no, the next game, they're going to get Reach, right? They're going to find Reach. They're going to harvest a new planet. I don't know. I didn't play Infinite Warfare, so maybe they already have a new planet. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they might find a Halo ring later. Maybe in like the next like 2020, they'll find a Halo ring. Promise you that. Maybe might not be a ring, but something like the Halo ring. <laughs> because like once you think about it, once you think about it, they're gonna keep going into the future. And already when you play multiplayer, you can see people and they look just like Spartans. Like legit, they look like Spartans. Like now that when I'm thinking about it, they look exactly like Spartans. And it's fucking crazy. And it's like, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, what are they going to do the next game? Are they going to go back? Because what they should do is, they should go back to World War II and make it like super nice graphics. Just like how um, Battlefield 1, that shit looks badass as fuck. I'd rather play Battlefield 1 than fucking Infinite Warfare. But the reason why I got Infinite Warfare was because it was Black Friday and it was like 30 bucks. <laughs> but like... No, well, well, they did remaster uh, Mon the other one, but Modern Warfare, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like, what's the next step? Because it kind of makes no sense for them to, like, fucking go into the future. Because, like, what they should do is have one game where they go into the future, and then Black Ops, they go in a different direction, where they don't go into the future, even though they already did. Because, like, people, I don't think... Like the old time gamers, they like that has played through like these type of games. I don't think they like the new like like the gameplay is badass, right? I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. Ba Black Ops Three gameplay was fucking badass. Like multiplayer, you felt like you're a god when you fucking wreck shit. That was cool as fuck. But the problem is, um, when I played Infinite Warfare, it felt too. It did not feel like Call of Duty because they had like health bars up top, and it felt like. Yeah, your guns took forever to kill them, and then they killed you hella fast. But maybe that's because I didn't really get into the game. But yeah, that that's what I'm kind of thinking about. I don't know if you guys would agree with me, because I bet a lot of you guys play Infinite Warfare, and you guys are gonna tell me something different. Or like none of you guys are even watching my videos. But like that's my opinion on that, and I really want to go back to the other game. But like. Because, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, Call of Duty is supposed to be, like, legit, like, wars. But it left that. It left the idea of being, like, on legit wars and they went straight into the future. And it, it's just kind of weird. Because, like, you think about it, like, Halo? Like, they're adding, they, like, like, okay, this is what's weird. Halo, they just added the boost into Halo 5, but... Call of Duty invented the boost before the Spartans could, so <laughs> I just thought it was weird because, like, the one game that came out that was in the future was like legit as fuck, and then the game that was in the future passed like I don't know. It's just it's just kind of funky, don't you think? Well, now that I think about it, the one game <laughs> that I used to play as a little kid that had like something futuristic but i don't know if it's fucking futuristic because like i don't know where when jetpacks came out like when jetpacks was invented and i don't even know if jetpacks even is invented but and um i played battlefield 19 something right and that game i think it was like 1921 i think it was fucking badass because it's on the pc and what happens was um I think I'm pretty sure I played against bots only because like what happens you can pick a side Chinese or American or whatever right and well what happened I don't think it was Chinese <laughs> but anyway it was Japan versus America right and like America would be on one side and the Japanese bots would be on the other side and like you'll, you'll just go fight each other you gotta catch your, like certain checkpoints and you gotta conquer the whole island that's how you win the game I know spoken badass because like like, you know Battlefield, every time you die, you swap to someone else. It's fucking badass. 
And I remember I played against like real people. And like Germans, they fucking jumped on their jetpack and started flying everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck? Is that, <laughs> is that even real? I, <laughs> I don't even know jetpacks exist. But like, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure they do, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because like, I don't really, like, what's the situation of you using the jetpack? Because like, I know in Kick-Ass, they fucking use the jetpack, but like, I don't know. Like, I need to search that up. Hold on, let me fucking search that up real quick. I'm kidding. I'm quitting. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna fucking search it up. I'm gonna see if fucking, like, the jetpack. Does. Does jetpacks. Exist? Yeah, does, does jetpacks really exist? Um. Okay, so the very first jetpack was made. On 1956. Okay, so, oh, so then um, they shouldn't have jetpacks. Oh, okay, so they shouldn't really have jetpacks in fucking World War Two, but I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's pretty cool. Well, well, at least now I know that jetpacks actually exist. Now you guys know that jetpacks actually exist now. But like, okay, so like Battlefield that game. They had jetpacks, but the idea- that's kind of like a dumb idea, don't you think? Like, can you imagine going to like- Can you imagine like our troops fucking like- They're- they're like rushing like- They're rushing like towards the machine guns, right? And they fucking jetpack out of nowhere. What the fuck? That's probably like the stupidest idea. But to think about it again, World War II, they did- What's it called? Germans did walk around- Well, we did walk around with flamethrowers. We walked around with flamethrowers and like- at the and the same time, all they had to do is shoot the the thing on our back, and we blew up in flames. But, but yeah, I remember. I mean, yeah, fucking. Um, I remember there's some games where fucking the flamethrower guys were like the strongest people ever, cause like legit, like when they fucking came at you with a the flamethrower, they were like invincible. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck they were invincible, but yeah. Um. Oh, dude, I can't wait until going to the very first Black Ops because I remember that ca fucking campaign They had fucking armored fucking dudes that fucking wrecked your fucking shit. I remember that. I remember that That's that's what came, <laughs> came straight to my mind when I talked about the, the flamethrower guys. I Love that. I love that when um, Call of What are you doing? That's hey, that's my cat. That's my cat's babies. I wish my camera was good. My camera hella sucks. Sorry, that was my sister. <laughs> I didn't hear her open the door behind me, but she was. She showed me a video of the of my cats. My cat just gave birth to little babies, so that, that's pretty cool. But what I was saying, um, yeah, I love it when Call of Duty implement like. I know a lot of people probably don't like it, but I, I loved it how Call of Duty, usually when you play on the hardest difficulty, two, everyone's just one shot. Like, when you shoot an enemy, they just die instantly. Like, the gameplay you see right here, I'm fucking one shotting everybody. But, like, you think about it. Um, when Call of Duty puts in, like, a little mini boss, which is, like, just a guy that takes a little bit more shots, that's badass. Like, that's kind of why people like Halo, other than Call of Duty, uh, because... It, like, I'm sorry guys, but like, when you play Halo, it takes a fucking shit ton of skill in multiplayer if you want to get fucked, if you want to wreck some shit. I'm gonna be honest, because Halo, well, before Halo 5, legit, if you want to be good at the game, you legit have to be good at the campaign. Because, like, if you're, if you're fucking a legendary fucking speedrunner fucking asshole, right? That fucking just wreck the shit out of fucking legendary, uh, the campaign legendary. Like when the le legendary is easy as fuck for you, when you go into multiplayer, you're gonna wreck fucking shit. I'm gonna be honest. But then it's like that's what's fun about Halo. Like you play, like people don't play, people go get Halo for the storyline. They don't get it for the multiplayer. And if you get it just for the multiplayer, you're gonna suck dick because you're not good at the fucking campaign. Well, unless you just fucking beat off and fucking just play multiplayer the whole time. That's how you do the game. But, but like, Call of Duty, um, yeah, people, you, like, Black Ops, I play for the campaign. And then for these guys, I play for the campaign, right?
But then now, it, uh, Black Ops 3 comes out, Infinite Warfare comes out. Um, I yeah, I'm not playing campaign. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I, I'm here for the zombies and the uh, um, multiplayer. But like, but that was a, but that's okay. Like the Black Ops, the Black Ops original time, I fucking hated multiplayer. Like I did not like that shit at all. I was like a hardcore zombie player. All I did was play zombies because I fucking love zombies. I was pretty good at zombies too. But I fucking love zombies. Oh, and if you guys like watching this and you want to see me fucking play zombies, I will play zombies for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, cause like. I want to play Black Ops original play because I bought every single fucking um, DLC on that shit, and I didn't even get um, season pass. I legit bought every single fucking pack, and it came with multiplayer maps, but I only got it for the fucking zombies. <laughs> like legit, like I don't know, it was like fifteen bucks. I guess I paid fifteen bucks for a zombie map, and I played the fucking shit out of that shit because I fucking love zombies. But yeah. But yeah, that would be the end of this video. Um, I had, if you guys like the um, the not live commentary, I would just keep doing it because um, my computer's pretty loud. So yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now and let the sergeant talk. So see you guys later.